Texas is building at a scale that matches its legendary ambition. While the rest of America debates infrastructure bills, the Lone Star State is deploying hundreds of billions in private and public investment that will fundamentally reshape how its booming cities grow, move, and compete. We're talking about semiconductor fabs larger than anything America has built in decades, skyscrapers redefining what Texas architecture can achieve, and a high-speed rail corridor that could finally prove bullet trains can work in car-obsessed America. From mixed-use developments rising from former ranch land to automotive factories so massive they're visible from space, these aren't incremental expansions. They're declarations that Texas intends to dominate the 21st century economy the way it dominated oil in the 20th. And the project topping this list isn't just a factory. It's a 2,500-acre manufacturing campus producing the vehicles and batteries that could determine whether America remains competitive in the electric vehicle revolution, proving that when Texas bets on the future, it doesn't hedge. It goes all in. Number 5. Waterline. The new tallest tower in Texas reached its maximum height of 1,025 feet above downtown Austin today as developers Lincoln Property Company and K. Roy Residential celebrated the topping out of Waterline with a ceremonial lifting of the final beam to the top of the 74-story mixed-use high-rise. Scheduled to open in 2026, Waterline stands 23 feet taller than the J.P. Morgan Chase Tower in Houston, which had been the tallest building in Texas since 1981. The 74-story high-rise from Lincoln Property Co. and K. Roy Residential sits on a more than three-acre campus at 98 Red River St. Austin. The mixed-use tower consists of 352 luxury apartments, 700,000 square feet of office space, a 251-room One Hotel Austin, and 24,000 square feet of retail and restaurant space overlooking the creek and the Waterloo Greenway. The tower, which looms over Waller Creek and Lady Bird Lake, will be divided into offices, residences, shops, and restaurants, all with separate entrances, elevators, and parking. But what makes Waterline transformative isn't just its height, it's its integration with Austin's emerging public realm. Lincoln partnered with the nonprofit Waterloo Greenway Conservancy, which is installing four pedestrian bridges to connect Rainy Street to downtown. Waterline is responsible for building one of them. By summer 2026, Austinites will be able to access the Butler Hike and Bike Trail, Rainy Street's historic district, and the University of Texas Dell Medical Area directly from the tower. At the peak of construction activity, approximately 875 people were working on site daily, and since construction began in 2022, more than 4,750 people have contributed to the project. According to Lincoln Property Company, the 74-story skyscraper on Red River Street downtown is the tallest building in the state. It includes around 2.7 million square feet of space, which is roughly the size of 47 football fields. When Waterline opens in 2026, it won't just be Texas's tallest building. It will prove that Austin can achieve vertical density without sacrificing the outdoor lifestyle that defines the city, seamlessly weaving skyscraper urbanism into the trail networks and green corridors that residents refuse to surrender. Number 4. Samsung Chip Fabrication Plant the Samsung project in Taylor is progressing well and is on target to be operational by the end of 2026, Samsung spokesperson Michelle Gaze confirmed. Since 1996, Samsung has invested $18 billion in total for the Austin site. Samsung plans to invest a minimum $17 billion in this build-out, $6 billion in buildings and other real property improvements, and $11 billion in machinery and equipment. This isn't just another factory. It's America's most aggressive bet that domestic semiconductor manufacturing can compete with East Asian dominance. My SA visited Taylor on Monday, June 30th, and spotted dozens of 18-wheeler semi-trucks hauling loads of construction materials constantly driving in and out of the Samsung site. Most notably, there's a huge black rectangular building with the Samsung logo near the roof, marking the Taylor site. The first one will be the size of 11 football fields, making it one of the largest manufacturing structures in the United States. In 2024, 
Construction activities at the Taylor site injected $8.6 billion into the local economy and supported a total of 8,868 direct and 9,768 indirect construction jobs. Although there is no set number on how many jobs Samsung could bring to Williamson County, local officials predict the company will create about 2,000 jobs, many of which will be good paying. Samsung has already started posting jobs within recent weeks for open positions in Taylor, including accounting assistants, inspectors, engineers, and more, with some salaries ranging from $90,000 to $160,000. Samsung's move to Taylor has not only already influenced many of its suppliers to move their headquarters to the area, but also other Korean companies seeking to expand their business in the U.S. Samsung also plans to build a second fabrication, with production expected to begin in 2027. Foundation for a second fabrication plant at the Taylor complex has already begun. When Samsung Taylor reaches full production, it won't just be another semiconductor fab. It will prove that America can reverse decades of manufacturing decline in the most strategically critical industry of the 21st century, anchoring a central Texas tech corridor that could rival the original Silicon Valley. Number 3. Texas Central High-Speed Rail Lead investor John Kleinheinz says the high-speed rail project is ready to build with federal permits in place and land already acquired. Our project is on the shelf, ready to go, Kleinheinz said. We've acquired all the station sites. We have large station sites in Dallas and Houston and also in the Brazos River Valley. We've acquired approximately 500 of the 2,000 parcels in the right-of-way between Dallas and Houston. This isn't just another stalled infrastructure dream. It's the most advanced high-speed rail project in America, positioned to prove that bullet trains can work in car-obsessed Texas. The approximately 240-mile high-speed rail line will offer a total travel time of less than 90 minutes, with convenient departures every 30 minutes during peak periods each day and every hour during off-peak periods. Kleinheinz said the Hitachi 700 Shinkansen train planned for the route will be the fastest high-speed train in the world because of Texas's straight and flat terrain. No mountains, no curves, just 240 miles of nearly straight track across terrain ideally suited for sustained 200-plus miles per hour operation. The estimated cost is more than $30 billion, with most of the money going into construction. Kleinheinz said rural counties will see significant benefits. This will ultimately be a Dallas to Houston train, but we're already working on the extension to Fort Worth, he said. We think when it's built out completely, 90% of Texans will live within 30 minutes of one of our stations. The North Texas Passenger Station will be located in the revitalized Cedars neighborhood of Dallas, just south of downtown near the Interstate 30 and Interstate 35 interchange, while the Texas High Speed Trains Houston Passenger Station will be located at the Northwest Mall site near the interchange of US 290 and Interstate 610 in Northwest Houston. This will be one of the largest and most iconic infrastructure projects undertaken in the U.S., Kleinheinz said. Dallas to Houston is the best route in the United States because it connects large populations. It's the right length. It's the right topography. When Texas Central High Speed Rail connects Dallas and Houston in 90 minutes, it won't just be America's first true bullet train. It will prove that even in the most car-dependent state, there's demand for alternatives, that Japanese technology can be deployed at American scale, and that private capital can finance infrastructure the public sector has been unwilling to build. Number 2. Tesla Gigafactory Texas in November 2025, Tesla announced plans that sound like science fiction, but represent the company's genuinely ambitious manufacturing strategy. Constructing a dedicated humanoid robot production facility at Gigafactory, Texas, capable of manufacturing 10 million Optimus robots annually by 2027. This isn't just another factory expansion. It's Tesla's most audacious bet that humanoid robots will eventually eclipse automotive as its primary business. Tesla has officially begun construction on a dedicated production facility for its humanoid robot, Optimus, at the company's Gigafactory Texas complex near Austin. The new site is located on the east side of the Giga Texas campus, where land clearing and foundation work have already begun. 
The scale of ongoing construction is staggering. Documents show Tesla is planning an expansion of more than 5 million square feet, which is already underway and expected to end in December 2025. But Optimus is only part of the story. Tesla Gigafactory Texas already produces Model Y and Cybertruck vehicles, with Tesla expects to ramp up Fremont's output to about 1 million units annually by late 2026, ahead of a much larger production push in Texas. The Gigafactory Texas line is planned to start in 2027 with a staggering 10 million unit annual capacity. Musk believes that Optimus could transform how people work by taking over repetitive or monotonous tasks. Optimus prototypes are already being tested across Tesla facilities, helping move parts, sort materials, and support production line operations. The economic impact is monumental. Gigafactory Texas has created over 10,000 permanent jobs and operates entirely on renewable energy, demonstrating that industrial-scale manufacturing can align with sustainability goals. When the Optimus factory reaches full production, it won't just be manufacturing robots. It will be proof that Texas can anchor America's AI robotics revolution, that humanoid robots can be mass-produced at automotive scale, and that Elon Musk's most ambitious predictions might actually materialize in metal and silicon rather than remaining perpetual vaporware. Number 1. The Fields Development Yellow bulldozers are swarming on the massive field site in Frisco, bringing more elements of the mixed-use community to life. The theme park will be part of a bigger 2,544-acre megaproject called Fields that is already home to the PGA of America's headquarters, Omni PGA Frisco Resort, and thousands of high-end residences. This isn't just another master-planned community. It's a $10 billion transformation of North Texas ranch land into what could become Texas's most ambitious mixed-use development. But what makes Fields genuinely revolutionary is what's rising at its center. Universal Kids Resort is an upcoming 32-acre children's theme park and entertainment resort under construction in Frisco, Texas. Scheduled to open in May 2026, it will be the sixth Universal Studios Resort and the third in the United States. At full build-out, Universal Kids Resort is expected to feature a 300-room hotel and a slew of rides, restaurants, and shops, all designed around popular movie characters. The park is located on a 97-acre site at the northeast corner of the Dallas North Tollway and Panther Creek Parkway. While it will be smaller than the Universal Resort in Orlando, the Frisco project is still expected to provide a jolt of new jobs and new tourism spending in the city north of Dallas. A March 2023 analysis estimated the park could draw 7,500 guests on an average day and 20,000 guests on peak days, such as holidays and during summer vacation. Carahan is developing Fields West, a 55-acre project at the center of Fields. Fields West will include 4 million square feet of office space, more than 2,000 urban residences, and 400,000 square feet of retail, dining, and entertainment space in roughly the next decade. Fields is also slated to have thousands of high-end homes across multiple neighborhoods, with multi-million dollar houses now under construction in one of those areas. The Preserve. Construction crews now appear to be building the hotel at the park's entrance, according to photos shared by Orlando Park Stop, a theme park news website. They have also prepared foundations for a possible SpongeBob SquarePants-themed structure, dug trenches for a planned water ride, and paved a new six-lane road connecting Dallas Parkway to Panther Creek Parkway. When the fields reaches full build-out, it won't just be another Frisco development. It will prove that Texas can execute destination-scale entertainment anchored by world-class brands, creating communities where tourism and residential life coexist, where theme parks become the economic engines around which entire cities organize themselves. From Austin's tallest tower to semiconductor fabs anchoring America's tech independence, Texas is proving that ambition backed by capital can transform landscapes faster than anywhere else in America. These five mega projects represent over $70 billion in investment, reshaping how Texas manufactures, moves, and competes on the global stage. So which project impressed you most? The theme park rising in Frisco, Samsung's massive chip facility in Taylor, the high-speed rail promising 90-minute Dallas-Houston trips, or 
Tesla's audacious robot factory producing 10 million Optimus units annually? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the world's most ambitious mega projects. We'll see you next time.